Hi, this is Steve with Locking Security Mailbox, and today I'm going to show you how to set an in-ground post. Um, here we have a 3x3 three three steel post, and we've got the AB14B mailbox that we're going to be mounting on top of it. You see here is the old mailbox, and as you can see, it's a non-locking mailbox, and so anyone can just walk up, take your mail, bail out, and you never see them coming. It, it would be too late. So here, we're going to set this up, and it doesn't take but a few minutes. Anybody can do it, so let me show you some, some simple steps. All right, um, some real basic instructions for setting your in-ground post are you want where the mail slot, where the mailman is going to be delivering the mail, you want that anywhere from 41 to 46 inches from the, from the ground, from where the, the uh, postman is going to be driving up, so the surface of the ground, 41 to 45, 46 inches. Uh, there's a little bit of flexibility in there. And then you want the front of the, your mailbox, you want it 4 to 6 inches from the face of your curb. And so you just basically want to measure back uh, six inches and then the distance for the mailbox it's going to be setting back. On this case it's nine inches. So really you're just measuring back 15 inches. That puts us about right here. Then you're going to dig your hole. Uh, in this case we're going to dig it about eight inches by eight inches and probably about 24 inches deep. And then you get yourself a bag of quick crete, concrete. You pour it inside there. You set your post. You plumb it up and you're all ready to go. So. We've measured back our 15 inches, which is right here, and we're going to start digging. One other thing that's really important is you should call your local utility company to make sure that your area is free of any, um, there could be a, a sewer line here, uh, communication lines, water lines. So you call them up and they'll give you directions on what to do to have a company come out and mark any of your utilities. Here I'm just kind of etching out around the, uh, the sod and then all you have to do is just kind of skim the ground a little bit with your shovel. There you've got your sod to replace in the area you want to go back in there. And then you can just simply start digging. Okay, well we've dug our hole, we set our post, we double checked, did our measurements, and now we're going to mix up our concrete. We got some fast setting, ultra high strength concrete. You can pick it up at your local hardware store. Um, regular bag of concrete costs about three bucks. Um, this bag here costs about eight dollars. We've got a 50 pound bag for our purpose here. So we're going to mix it up in the wheelbarrow, pour it inside the hole. There is other ways you can do it. You can uh, just throw the concrete dry into there and then add some water. Uh, really, there's debate on which way is the strongest and I, I think there, it does a suitable job either way. Okay. Dump the concrete, we're going to add some water to it, and then we'll just throw, throw it in. Okay, we've added our first uh, thing of concrete, first 50-pound uh, bag here. And uh, just one thing you want to keep in mind is when you're adding the concrete, you want something uh, just to tap it down with. If you have a stick, uh, I actually have a piece of rebar here, and um, that helps get any of the voids that might be in the concrete out, any kind of air pocket, and help kind of strengthen it up a little bit. And then um, you just want a simple level. Um, you can use uh, this little torpedo level, and you want to start plumbing it as you're going here to make sure that you are um, plumb. So you want to plumb it one way, then you want to plumb it the other way, and then you can double check it, your other side, and you're pretty good. Just make your adjustments. We've set our mailbox, we've added a couple bags of concrete, and so we're doing our final plumbing and making it make sure it's plumb. And, um, you kind of got to do that real quick. You don't want to wait too long if you're using quick free. Um, we're good. We're all set. So um, next thing we do is just let it set up for a couple hours, and then we will mount our mailbox. All right, your mailbox is going to come with a set of bolts, and basically all you're going to want to do is set it up on top of your mailbox post after you've let it set up and dry, the concrete that is, and then um, just attach the bolts.
sure you put the bolt in. I'm going to do this with, without the washer. Then you want to take the washer, place it up inside. And you do the other three on there. Make sure you crank down on them really tight. And you're going to want to get an open face wrench and then a flat blade screwdriver, probably a real short one. And tighten it up, you're all set.